In the previous video, we saw the first type of light modifiers, which is the reflector. And we learned that the reflector produces hard light. And also we learned that the job or the role of the reflector is to direct the light in one direction instead of letting the light to spread all over. Although the reflector will direct the light in one direction, but this direction will not be very small. It will be big, somehow big. You can control the size of this light by using honeycomb grids. The honeycomb grid can be added to the reflector to produce something called a spotlight. What is a spotlight? A spotlight is a small circle of light which is almost straight. So it's not spreading everywhere. It is small and direct. To understand how honeycomb grids work, I will put it in front of my face. In this position, you can see my face through the honeycomb grid. If I turn it upwards or downwards, you will not be able to see my face. Or if I go right or left, you cannot see my face. You can only see it if the grid is straight. So this is the job of the honeycomb grid. Its job is to direct the light in a straight path. No light will be allowed to go left or right or up or down. So this will produce the spotlight and it will narrow the size of the light and it will go straight. There are different sizes of honeycomb grids in the Elenchrom series. Um, there are the 30 degrees, 20 degrees, 12 degrees and 8 degrees. When we go smaller in degrees, the spotlight will be smaller. In a moment, we are going to test them. We will turn the tungsten light, the modeling lamp light on, and we are going to change all the four different types of honeycomb grids, and we will see the size of the spot that we can get. For this reason, we will need to turn off the light inside our studio so we can see the tungsten light more. Now we are seeing the size of the light from the reflector without using any grid. So at the moment, you see that the light is relatively big. It's almost filling all the wall. We will now attach all the different sizes of the honeycomb grids to see how each grid will produce a smaller spotlight. We will start from the bigger to the smallest. So this is the 30 degrees honeycomb grid. So this is the 20 degrees. This is the 12 degrees. And this is the 8 degrees. Honeycomb grids have a great effect in special effects photography. Anytime you'd like to produce an artistic shot where there is dramatic lighting in your photography, you are going to use honeycomb grids and in other words, spotlights. For sure in our series of tutorials, we are going to do this. So in the coming tutorials, you will see how we, how we are going to use them to do a special effect photography.